guys are gonna create the pizza minus the one slice. That one slice is gonna come out to reveal the gift will go underneath that. Ooh. Cool. So first thing, of course, to every good pizza is the good crust. So we're gonna trace out the crust, then we are gonna glue it down to this template. I got my pizza slice. All right, so now you're gonna lose your, use your glue stick that's there in the middle. Glue it onto... Onto the cardboard template, yeah. That gives it a little structure. Ah. Our next step, we're gonna trace that around on the red, and that's gonna be like our pizza sauce, our marinara sauce, and then we're gonna trace it around on the yellow, and that's gonna be the, the gooey, delicious cheese that goes on top. Look at this flipping wave, baby. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to be starting to make some uh, toppings for you, some pizza toppings, uh, including pepperoni. And what does this look like? A little olive action? Anybody want some uh, pineapple? Sure. That's diced pineapple, anchovies. I want you to have all of the options. All right, so here's some prepared oh, pepperoni. Those are so cool. That you guys can uh, delicately place on your okay. pizza there. I'm going to flip this over. We're gonna see how good your glue skills were. So far, so good. And now I'm going to create a hinge on the back of this out of masking tape. So the idea is that this opens up. That's our little hinge. Like a real pizza. The gift will go underneath that. A pizza pocket, if you will. All right, there's only one thing missing from this pizza. Ball. The pizza box. No, it has anchovies. It's the oh, pizza box. It ball. has anchovies. We have something for you here. We have a double-sided paper. So we're going to be wrapping it, it with one color showing, and then we're going to embellish it with the, with the reverse of the paper. So roll out some paper. What I do with this, if you want to leave enough to fully cover the edge, but not much more. And then I'm going to cut. Now, this is gonna be our edge, our working edge. So what I do is I pull this up, and we should have just enough paper to fully wrap this thing. Now, we are gonna use a piece of double-sided tape, and we are gonna put that here on the very, very edge of our gift wrap. We're taking this edge, and it's gonna go all the way over, but we don't tape it to the box. We fold this edge over, and this goes right to the edge. Tape this flap down. Okay, so now we turn the box up on its edge. And now I take my fingers and I tuck them down and tuck them down. And, and this gives us those first little flaps. Then we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. Now that we have our, our flaps established, and now you're gonna fold this down. Now, if it goes beyond the bottom of the package, which it may, you just give it a little trim at the bottom because you don't want any bulk here. And now you're gonna tape this flap down to itself. So I have one end is finished. All right. Then you go with the other side. Make sure you do it in the same way. So we're now gonna create a paper embellishment to go on top of this gift. And we're gonna roll out slightly less than the width of your gift. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is create a, an accordion fold. So you wanna fold about an inch, and you keep going back and forth, and this is an accordion fold. We've got our accordion fold. So now we're gonna take double stick tape, 
And you just want to make sure you've got coverage from here to here and from here to here. All right, and this is where the magic comes in. So now we're gonna open this up and it's gonna stick to itself like this. So you're creating this kind of pinwheel. I love it. And I take the double-sided tape and I just make an X on the back of this, flip it over, center this, and then that's gonna stick down to itself.